Hey guys, Weekend Modder here with a quick unbrick uh, basic level uh, send in proof video. So, this console is a Trinity motherboard. It's uh, the Halo Reach themed one. All the Halo Reach themed consoles that I've ever encountered have been Trinities. Uh, I did this console and sold it to a guy over a year ago. Uh, he bricked it and sent it in for the service. So, Sullivan, this one's for you. Um, Still the special edition sound effects, still the same chip, all that sort of stuff. Basically all I did was use the original NAND dump to construct a current 17511 current dashboard. Uh, and then wrote that back to the console. Um, which is uh, still the same boot time setup sort of thing. 30-40 seconds tops uh, with the Trinity Ace V3. And now your console is turning itself off because it's got a dash launch boot loop problem. So I'm going to try to bypass it with eject here. So as soon as I see the ring of light start flashing around, I'm going to hit eject because the console is getting powered off because it's trying to... So I hit eject a few times here and I missed it. It cut... No? Did I? Looks like it stayed on this time. So that proves that it's a, uh, a dash launch setting. Yeah, fatal crash intercepted. You must build and reflash with Ninja XE build. Um, yeah. So it's Ninja attempting to start up and it's an old version. So I'm gonna power it off. So I just powered off the console. So I'm gonna go ahead one more time and try the eject method here. So I just spam the heck out of eject. So let's see. Fatal crash intercepted. It's still doing it. So the other method of doing that uh, or, or rectifying that situation here. Uh, might as well make a, a tutorial video out of it. Let's take the USB stick. Uh, insert that into your computer. Uh, if you can even manage to do that. No. Uh. There we go. I just inserted the USB into my computer. So I'm going to open up my computer here and you're going to be able to see my USB drive spin right on here. And let's just see if uh, I think that should be formatted to fat so it should be just fine. Um, console is annoying me because it's restarting itself a bunch. Hurry up computer. Okay, so we are formatted to FAT32, so this should work just fine without having to change anything. I'm going to create a new text document. I'm going to actually delete the entire name, even the .txt, and I'm going to name it launch.ini. Uh, I get a warning about the file extension thing here. I'm, yes, I'm sure. I want it to be named that. If I go ahead and double click on it, I've got my computer set up to open that in Notepad. You can see it's totally empty. There's nothing in there. So I'm going to eject the USB now. And I'm going to pop back over to the, uh, the camera here. I'm going to insert that USB into the console. And the way that Dash Launch looks for launch.ini is it always defaults to the one on the USB first. Since we have a blank launch.ini, Dash launch is going to do nothing. It's basically going to uh, bypass the bad plugins. Then we'll be able to launch the dash launch little application and go in and correct the launch.ini that's on the hard drive. So there we got a boot, and we're not going to get the failed crashed intercept thing anymore. So I'm going to hit B to bypass the. Uh, the gamer sign in. I'm going to head right over to games. I'm going to launch XEX menu. Uh, I'm still not going to sign into a, a profile, it doesn't matter. Alright, so now I right bumpered over to USB 0 and I'm going to right D pad uh, over to hard drive. I'm going to launch the dash launch 318 and launch that default.xex. 
And then what I'm going to do is right bumper to the save or load launch.ini. I'm going to make sure that I have the one off the hard drive loaded. So I have hard drive selected, I press A. Now I'm going to left bumper back to the current options. I'm going to go down to the plugins. And you can see all these plugins here. It's probably this ninja one that's hanging this up. So I'm going to go ahead and press Y in order to clear that out. So now it says none. So then I'm going to right bumper back over to uh, the hard drive and I'm going to press X to I setting save to hard drive launch.ini. So now I'll go ahead and, uh, oh lord, I just hit the intro video thing. I hope that goes away in just a second. There we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and power down the console, take the USB out, and give it a five second breather or something here and power it back up. Now if that launch, or excuse me, if the Ninja uh, plugin was old and that was because of our boot issue, um, then we should boot normally now when we get a successful boot here in just a second. This one's taking longer. We've booted it, what, like four times in this video? They've all been faster than that. Yeah, so that one took a little while. All right, so looks like we're going to get a normal boot up to Dash. I don't see any errors so far. Right into freestyle, just like we would expect. So there you are. Make sure that you go in. And uh, don't just set the same plugin, replace that file, replace that Ninja file with the latest version, and you should be good to go. And uh, there's a little bit of a lesson along with the uh, proof of the unbreak.